This video I'm going to show you the replacement of my Phantom 2 Vision uh, electronic speed controller um, after my uh, crash last week. So, do a quick video how I'm going to replace that and uh, reinstall the motor and test it out. This is the um, replacement. Uh, ESC from DJI and um, that will go in uh, just like this and uh, that lead will go to the V and G leads here that were unsoldered uh, from the main board to get the old one out and there's two screw holes here to uh, fasten it through and uh, as you can see on the back side is the uh, LEDs so that's pretty neat. Comes uh, well packaged. Spare part number seven. So I'm going to get my equipment set up and uh, probably do the um, fix here in the vices and then install the whole unit in and connect the main board solder points. Replacement ESC from DJI comes with um, some spare screws for the um, for the attachment here. These actually go um, go through the top of the ESC and down into the cover for the uh, LEDs, which are on the bottom side. Okay, so here's my setup. I'm going to rewire the uh, motor to the speed controller, and I'm going to use the same wiring as the opposite motor. Um, so. We'll, uh, we'll look at that and we'll reference that uh, wiring set up there um, and uh, we'll do the same uh, same attachment points on the main board but we'll do it over on this side so I'll do my soldering here for the motor and then I'll move everything as an assembly over to the shell and do my final connections to the main board uh, over there so, which will be uh, those connections uh, uh, right, let's see if I can get my finger here, right there, V and G. It looks like I got enough solder there to use. I may, uh, may clean that up first. Okay, we got the black on. Put a little uh, solder on the wire itself. A little bit of flux uh, on the pad that you're mounting to. Uh, I built a little puddle um, of uh, solder on the pad on the ESC first uh, and then coated the wire um, and uh, put a little bit on the tip of the soldering iron as well and uh, just set it in there nice. So we're going to go for uh, uh, the uh, red wire next. Put all three soldered down. I'm just going to uh, use a little alcohol, a little uh, isopropyl. Get some of that uh, flux out of there. Clean that up a little bit. And get those contacts cleaned up. So that's what we'll do here: is we'll just clean the uh, clean the contact areas up with uh, some isopropyl and uh, get that dried off. Okay, so we got that in and we'll move that all over into the, uh, into the shell and we'll do the main board connections. I have the motor um, attached, uh, soldered to the uh, ESC. Uh, I'm going to get ready to uh, actually uh, bolt that down, secure that. Uh, I'm going to secure the board and also um, screw um, the board screws in from the top uh, underneath to the screws for the uh, LED cover. So uh, they serve two purposes. They hold the uh, ESC down to the uh, shell uh, through um, uh, to these uh, two uh, threaded sockets on the inside of the LED cover. 
And then uh, I'm going to do the uh, last solder point and fire it up and test it out. Okay, I have the motor installed, screws are torqued, and also have the um, ESC uh, bolted down with the LED cover attached. Okay, and uh, I'm going to be getting ready to do the solder points here, and then I'll connect um, the uh, main lead uh, from the board uh, to the ESC. The new uh, ESC in. Cut it down on the main board. So we'll get ready to power it up. Okay, I finished the uh, ESC installation. I got the shell back together. Uh, tested my Wi-Fi and uh, everything seems to be working back. The way it was uh, pre-crash. And um, let's see if uh, we got the motors working. Uh, Make sure we're spinning in the right direction. Looks, looks right. So everything looks pretty good. I got the rotor pixel gimbal installed. So you can see that's working pretty good. So all in all, um, after a very, very heavy crash, um, total crash damage cost me about $22 for the uh, ESC. Um, and uh, probably $15 for some new props. Um, and a little bit of patience and some epoxy here and there. And um, we're back in business. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.